And when I look up at that full moon, or any moon, and I think, we, we've had people walking up on that moon. When I was growing up, that was total science fiction. and We've done that and more. So how bizarre that the creature with the most intellectual ability ever is destroying its only home. I was born loving animals. I grew up loving animals. I read books because it was wartime. And then I found a little book called Tarzan of the Apes. And that's when I decided I would grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals and write books about them. from chimpanzees is one, how like us they are. We know now they're like us biologically, but they're also like us behaviorally and psychologically in so many different ways. Well, the wildlife situation is desperate. Um, the human situation because of climate change in some areas is absolutely desperate. It's only going to get worse. And, you know, many, many scientists say there was nothing we can do. Uh, many young people lose hope because they feel there is no hope. And so I believe we've got a small window of time which is closing. And it's desperately important that we all get together and do what we can and to persuade people that what they do as an individual may seem insignificant. But when you get billions of people making ethical choices in what they buy, eat, wear and so on, then you start moving towards a different kind of world. It, I'm sure it's true that some kids uh, join the marches because of that very reason they want to skip school. Probably I would have. <laughs> but at the same time, they're rubbing shoulders with young people who are very passionate, and that's probably going to rub off. And there'll be a feeling of solidarity. And then once they get, yes, we can do it, together we can, uh, then that's going to change them. So they may come in for other reasons than concern for the environment and the future, but they may very well leave feeling different. And there are many people who are aware but don't know what to do. And the main point is that every day we live, we make some impact on the planet. And if we start thinking about the consequences of our actions on the future, on future generations and realize that more and more people are understanding this, then, you know, get in there, realize that you do matter, that you do have a role to play and you do make a difference every day. So go and do it and you'll feel better with yourself and more hopeful for the future. <laughs>